Welcome to Let's Play Toka Championship Racing Part 19. And we're going to begin this, like, the final quarter of the season by going back to Thruxton. Oh boy. This is our return visit to Thruxton for rounds 19 and 20 of the season. The morning's first qualifying session has just started, so let's see who is challenging for pole. The new Peugeot driver had a torrid time there, qualifying well down the order. So yeah, not only are we back at Thruxton, it's wet Thruxton, which makes this much worse. At least Menu not only did not get the pole, but he also qualified 5th. Plato's starting up front, that's going to be interesting. And I qualified 12th. After a meh lap. But, eh well. So, here we go. Race number 19 of the season here at Thruxton. Hopefully the game will be kind enough to me to where I can actually like do well here. Because the whole, you know, game hates me. Spinny, spin, spin, car Thruxton, high speed, spinny, spin, spin. Please, Vauxhall, can you get off my ass? Just please, fuck off. Well, we got a bunch of cars spun around. Oh, and Cleland is out. Well, all right. I see everything went down behind me. Well then. Now, this is going to require a lot of concentration. It's... I couldn't really tell you if this is even worse to manage in the rain. It, it seems about, like, just as bad as in the dry which is a good thing because if it was worse in, in the rain to like keep control of the car here full I'd have more troubles than I'm already having also oh god no damn it my cheekiness did not work it was in vain fuck and now I'm in last. Alright, well, fucked. Went for it. And fail. And got a dangerous driving warning out of it. Now it's time to try to claw my way back. Such is the case. Of Thruxton. All the places to revisit had to be here. Looks like my teammates got a lot of damage. What happened to you, Patrick? Patrick. This is not an ideal situation at all. This is why. Holy crap. See ya. That's what you get. For not yielding to your god. Alright. Okay, back up to the top ten. Progress. Anyways, I think this is where my like my first like casual playthrough of this game ended. Because I was so far down on points that I actually had to like finish really well in both races. I think I had to like win both races or something. And I, I just couldn't do it. Plus, I was doing a short season, so the races were a lot shorter, which means I had to get up front quick and not make any mistakes. Now I have all these extra laps to make up for mistakes. It's just like, ah. Oh, shit. Yeah, the grass. So, yeah. Thruxton has not been kind to me. 
Oh yeah, Burnout 1 was recorded in like one stream. It's kind of short. Alright, that's done. What's left is the uploading. Actually, the uploading's done. All that's left is for the videos to be released on schedule. Because schedules are cool. Can't wait for uh, YouTube to remove that feature, since they like removing all the good features. Oh yeah, we do have a race tomorrow. About that. For Gort. Actually kind of have to win. I mean, you most likely will. By most likely, I mean absolutely will. Unless we have another fluke like Monza. Where the car did not want to play ball. Oh, Tarquini, what are you doing? Trying to block me, asshole. Yes, yeah, the Bugatti circuit tomorrow. I have done no practice, and I'm also fucking terrible at the Bugatti circuit. So, uh, I'm not expecting my Volvo to do well. Sweden Pro, maybe. But definitely not me. A little bit worried about Tarquinia riding my ass here. Hi, Gab. Fuck off. Is anybody good at Bugatti? No, not really. It's one of those tracks of who is the least shit. Come on, get around the Volvo. I said get around the Volvo, not get turn get knocked around by the Volvo. And there went my progress. E Mild frustration. I don't worry about anybody punting me at least. Talk when you're not in an alpha. Shit game, yeah. I might have the skills, but do I have the luck? Because a lot of this is luck-based, to be honest. The game just kind of decides whether or not it wants to sp spin your car or not. It's really fucking annoying. Excuse me. I got places to be. And you're in my way. Queenie again. Or that can happen. Okay. That's what you get. That's what you get for existing near me. The Punt King. I'm coming for your crown, Plato. Very sneaky. I said Punt King, not Cunt King, although they're pretty much synonyms. 
No. Bad car. Saved it. <laughs> Insert Japanese Murray Walker. Hank has. Audi doing a heck of a block. Is that Bila? That is Bila. lost it. Yay. Why am I playing Skyrim? I have the worst arachnophobia. That's your fault. You know what you got yourself into. Oh, what has happened here? And the Volvos has a... Uh, I'm in the barf color mobile. I don't know. Just felt like driving Peugeot. The Peugeot. Yeah. Excuse me. Nope. Okay. We're doing more of this. Alright. Rip momentum. Also, fanboy, I do not have any monster truck games on my list as of now. Like, definitively on the list. That's one of those vague, like, hey, if it's a fucking car game, it's, like, in my radar. No, drivers are in the correct cars. It's based off the 97 season, so... At least I assume they're the correct cars. I actually don't know shit about 97 BTCC. than what is displayed in this game. Let's finish that thought 20 seconds later. Don't mind me. Yeah, I am driving uh, Harvey's Persia. That much I do know. I, I know I am driving Tim Harvey's car. Also, this fucking Volvo is quick. Why are you going so quick? Hope I'm catching on the podiums. The podium boys. There we go. Just a small punt, and there we go. Topping out much, yeah. Fucking 145. That's why it's punting people then. Right, what is the gap to third place? And is it Minyu? It probably isn't. I'm sure he jumped from fifth to first immediately. Well, it is a Renault in third. But I don't know if it's Minyu or Plato. I'm just going to assume it's Plato.
Oh, jeez. No idea how the car didn't spin there. That was luck on my side. Right there. Holy shit. Also, eight seconds. Ah. That is a... Quite the gap. Gain a couple seconds in that first sector. Good. I see a back marker up ahead. No, no bad, 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 safe. <laughs> Didn't spin. We're good. Lost the uh, two seconds I gained in the first sector, though. Oh, hey, Ludo. Fortnite Toka DLC. Toka Battle Royale. Awkward. Very bad. Uh, couldn't have done that chicane much worse. If I try, or er, without spinning. know this, but... Oh! Okay, well, one of the Fords is around. You may have experienced the Jason Plato experience. That kind of makes sense if GT4 is actually hard on PS2 lasers, because as much as I played GT4, I have had to clean the laser of my PS2 once, but still. Problems. Aggressive goes around. Speaking of aggressive, I'm catching Plato. May have to clean your laser. Yeah, all you have to do is just... If you have a fat PS2, just fucking open it up, take cotton swab, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Very light amount of rubbing alcohol. And just very gently... touch the laser. I think that's what I... I think that's how I cleaned it. Works like a charm now. The only problem is that, like, it takes a little longer to do, like, the initial read of the discs, like, to actually launch the game. But I think that's just more just wear and tear. I actually want to watch BTCC now. I hate you. Good, it's working. Oh, shit. Please no spin, please no spin. Okay, no spin, we're good. Safe. See, I don't think I'm going to be winning this race, considering there's only six laps left. So, I'm just going to hope that this is menu, even though I know it isn't. Uh, trying to look at the number plate, but it's too few pixels. Damn you, PlayStation compression. Oh, what are you doing in the grass? Oh, yep, that's Play-Doh. Okay. Confirmed. Oh, hey, menu's in second. That means Thompson's leading the race. Always had the fat PS2. Well, you're in luck, because the fat PS2 is a lot easier to open up than the uh, slim. 
like it's extremely easy to open up. If I can do it with ease, then you know it's easy. All right, four seconds to menu. Let's do this. Problem with me is how do I open things? I think there's like a couple screws on like the bottom portion of it. Uh, you can easily like there's a tutorial on YouTube. All you, all, it's all you have to do is just look up a video tutorial. Bam. There, there's just a few screws somewhere that you have to unscrew, and then it just oh god, it just pops right off. Just like my chances of passing menu just popped right off. Holy crap! I fucking went a long way. That's a lot of grass. Well, this game has uh, finally decided to crack down its tail on me. Or crack its whip. Crack down its tail. What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? Help. Alright, whatever. Let's try to catch a Play Doh back. Still got four laps. So there might be a slim chance that I might still catch a menu. Smith. I wish I could laugh at these jokes, AK, but unfortunately, I don't watch enough BTCC, so they go right over my head. <laughs> Aggressive goes around. I kind of went so far in the grass, the game actually, like, hit me with the out-of-bounds and pushed me back. Hey, DeBerry. Car is upsetty. I was not happy that time. Stuck trying to do the thing, yeah. Honestly, with menu in second, this isn't quite as bad if I finish fourth or something. Although, I'm still gonna lose points, and that's not good. Since we're only three points apart. In the championship. Alright, cop back up the Play-Doh. Looks like Menu's not too far ahead. In fact, he isn't. Might still have a ch chance at second here. Thompson's got this race won, that's for sure. Hey, speed bro. Who knew that streaming at an actual, like, normal time would actually have caused people to show up, huh? Fonking. Oh wait, no, that's not a menu, that's a fucking Ford, okay. Also, high play doh <laughs> Oh, a menu's eight seconds up, yeah, okay. Oh, Brett Smith went off of that corner, outside the camera bounds. I might have seen that in, like, a compilation a long time ago. Because I vaguely know what you're talking about, AK. Alright, Vauxhall. It's probably the, I think, the remaining Vauxhall. Because doesn't uh, Rydell drive the red one? And he's out. He fucking flipped over on lap one. Normal. Well, normal for the East Coast in America, you know. 
I mean, it's not too late for the Euro Trash. It's still fa fairly late, though. Oh, it happened this year. Okay, then I'm thinking of a completely different crash then. Where something similar-ish happened. Final lap. There's menu. I don't want to. I'll take the two-point hit, I guess. Hopefully bounce back in race two. Alright, well, I'm going to take third here. To menu second, and yeah. And after a hard fought race, the checkered flag is taken with very little to separate the drivers. Here's how the race finished. Oh wow, menu almost got around Thompson at the end there, and I would have been upset. <laughs> but he didn't, so that's fine. So, yeah, there's two points lost to menu in race one, so now the championship gap is only one point. Yay! Oh boy, and there's the rest of the results with Cleland out. Yeah, he was in the other Vauxhall. Thought so. And I am Patrick Watts finished 12th. By God, my teammate did something. Instead of finished last. Alright, well, that was a fairly okayish race one. So um, let's try to uh, do better in race two next time on Toka. Stay tuned.